today we are going to focus on creating a burn border and saving as an action. So that way, you don't have to do it every single time. Alright, so first bring up the windows, actions palette. Alright, to create a new action, we are going to do, we're going to call it burn borders. Alright, hit record. Alright, the um, first thing you'll do is make a duplicate layer. Alright, this is all in your saved action. Okay, change the layers mode to multiply so it gets darker. Alright, and now you go to select all, and you're selecting all instead of a portion so that applies to all the future images you use this action on. Okay, so then you did select, modify, border, it created this two layer dancing ant thing. Really you want to then do select inverse, so then you can go to select, modify, contract. That option wasn't available earlier. I contracted it 200 pixels, you can do whatever you want. This just gives you the desired width of your border. All right, now you'll do delete and delete your selection, create your border width. And something that makes this a little bit more fancy, okay, is creating a second little outline border. So you go to select all again, then edit, We'll go down to stroke, okay, and then make this stroke whatever width and color you want to go with your image. Um, you can play around with the other settings, mine's on center, you can do whatever you want. Alright, and now you'll hit command D to deselect and view your double border. Alright, now that we have the borders made, okay, we're going to see if this action duplicates or works for all my other images. All right, so here's a vertical image with my class's TA. Her name is Julie. Uh, she's pretty awesome. Okay, I hit the action. All right, sweet, there's an awesome burn border. Okay, now we'll try it on a horizontal image. Okay, um, all these photos were taken at Bannock Ghost Town in Montana. It's nice place I recommend going and visiting there sometime all right okay horizontal worked all right so now that we know it works I'm just gonna do it for a few more images so you can see how you can edit multiple images it definitely saves a lot of time because you don't have to go through and do these actions yourself all right okay the girl beforehand was named Abigail and this model right here, her name is Destiny. There are two great girls that are in my class. All right, now that we have these borders made, we're going to want to save them. And a lot of times when we save images, we want to upload them to a blog on the online. So we're gonna create an action for sizing these images for the web. All right, we're calling it save for the web vertical. And then we'll do another one, which is save for the web horizontal. So two actions. Now we go to image, image size. For the vertical, we change the height to 800 pixels. Okay, and then we'll do file, save for web. All right, and then just make sure it's on all the settings that you want. Usually high, progressive, quality 72, and save as a JPEG. Okay, make sure to save it to your desktop. If you save it to another file, it probably won't work for the other images. It popped up on the right. All right, now for the second action for the horizontal images. All right, so create a new action. Okay, we're calling it save for the web horizontal. And do the same thing. Go to file, image, oh sorry, <laughs> image, image size. Make the width 800 pixels, save it. Okay, and then file, save for web. Okay, make sure you have all the settings you want. Usually progressive, 72, JPEG. Save it to the desktop, and it should pop up on the right. Okay, there it is. Stop the action. All right, now we are going to apply this action to all the other images. All right, so save for web vertical, play. Awesome, it worked. Okay, now another vertical. Sweet, popped up on the right. Okay, now the tricky one. Well, the different one. Horizontal. 
Awesome, it works for my horizontal images. Okay, now that you have the save, that's how you create an action and save time. For those who would like to contact me, here's my information.